Ranking in the Google 3 pack is for sure the number one way to get more customers and grow your business in 2023. But not only ranking in the Google 3 pack is significant, you want to be there frequently, consistently, and in the largest area possible. We call it breaking proximity. So you, you probably have noticed that I love to use those heat maps, the local Falcon scans where we've shown you, we've been able to rank clients from uh, you know, a three mile radius to a six mile radius, 10 and 15. Well, we had a challenge a couple of months ago. Steven, we call him Steven on this video. Steven wanted to rank in a 35 mile radius simply because he wanted to rank in the Hamptons, New York. That's where the money's at, right? Well, his GMB was is 35 miles away from the Hamptons. So some of you, my fellow SEOs, may say, well, ranking the same GMB consistently and frequently in a 35 mile radius, in fact, in a different city, it's quite a challenge. It's actually impossible. And some of you may think it's easy. We do it all the time. Well, at the end of this video, you would know if your business qualifies for what I call is breaking proximity, or if your business is unfortunately proximity locked. Every GMB is different. So I will show you in this video how I determine whether a business can rank in a 35 mile radius. I basically, before I even start working with my client, I know how much we can get away with. Now, the challenge is, Jasmine, can you get me ranked in the Hamptons 35 miles away? Can we do that? Well, before I say yes or no, right? It doesn't depend on me. Honestly, it doesn't. It really depends on looking at the data. So for step number one, I'd like for you to go ahead and Local Falcon. Local Falcon has been an absolute lifesaver for, for me. Um, the way I'm gonna teach you today how to look into interpret the data would just allow you to see how much you can get away with, how much you can get away with for your clients or for your own business. And so this is my exact process. I upload the business into Local Falcon and I select a keyword and I select the mile radius. So in your in this particular case, he wants 35 miles, right? He's told me, so I'm gonna choose 35 miles. I'm gonna give it the most profitable keyword. Think about not long tail keywords, think about your most profitable keywords. If you're a plumber, is that plumber, roofing, it's that uh, garage door repair. Think of your primary keywords. Give it a, you know, do it seven by seven or nine by nine, and then give it a go. Once you get the results, the results may look pretty bad. I'm sure that will look pretty bad, but don't focus on that. Go up here to where it says competitors, and this is where you're going to find uh, the opportunity or the lack of opportunity. So if the number one competitor is actually taking the whole thing, the whole thing, and you know that there's actually a few towns where he's breaking proximity into, I dare you, go look at their website and see if they have any location pages. I've done it most of the time. They're not even doing SEO. Why are they breaking proximity? Well, Google allows it. Why does Google allow to break proximity? My friends, I don't know. I only take advantage of it. So there are some industries and some areas where Google just breaks proximity. It does not know the one, here's one town and here's the other. It's just, you just keep going and going and going. So if your number one competitor breaks proximity, meaning takes the whole thing, so can you. So number one, it's gonna be all number one. Number two, you can see that it's now number two, but with lesser rankings. Number three is the same. So when you look at something like this, it means that it breaks proximity. Once we make sure that our competitor breaks proximity, so can we. And so that's what I did for, for Steven. So he gave me the keyword, he gave me the challenge, I went and checked and lo and behold, the number one competitor for my friend Steven was taking the whole thing. In fact, this GMB that was ranking all the way in the Hamptons was further away from us. I mean, they're like 37 miles away from the Hamptons and <laughs> ranking in the Hamptons. So when I see that somebody even further away from us is ranking all the way in the Hamptons, I knew I could do it. I know I can do it and uh, I said Steven I can do it and uh, 
honest to God, I did not touch his website. I do not build on page, off page, uh, no citations. It's all engagement, all that special, beautiful secret sauce that we got going that I've been able to teach. So many of you as CEOs have taken my course and uh, clients are having great, great results. Uh, literally, it took us, um, it took us one month to take a 40 mile radius here are the scans one month to go into a 40 mile radius finally two months to take a 35 mile radius and that's because i just knew i just knew that we could break proximity and we were able to break proximity so um so what am i trying to say here why don't you know what your GME can get away with? If some of you SEOs are, are watching me, uh, be daring. Look at this data and see if you can break proximity, if your GMEs can actually break proximity so you can start going for larger and larger and larger radiuses and, and make your clients happier. If, uh, if you're a business owner and you're not getting enough calls and you have the opportunity to break proximity, what are you waiting for? Do it. Do it. If you need a special tra strategy, uh, whether you're SEO or whether you're a business owner, I'll be more than happy to take a look at your listing and help you determine what it is that you need to get done and get you the right direction. You can call me, text me, email me. And uh, before I close this video, I just want to show you what it is, uh, how it looks like when you are proximity locked. Proximity locked, here we go. This is what it looks like. Same thing, you're looking at your report and then you go over to competitor report. And here's when you notice that it's very sectionalized. It's very different from the, uh, from the, the pre previous condition where one would take the whole thing. Here you don't ever see that. The number one guy, takes a little teeny bitty area of the scan. The number two guy takes another little bitty area off to the side. The number three guy, it takes another little bitty area. What it means is that Google is only ranking them within their own four walls and then maybe just a little bit more out. That's it. It doesn't matter how hard you try, it's not gonna break proximity. It's just, it's just Google is locking the proximity in, in these cases. So. In my experience, I have not seen success with these clients. And when I see that they're proximity locked, I encourage them to get more GMVs. Don't give up. Just know that you're proximity locked. And so don't keep, you know, just don't keep working the same GMV. Get multiple GMVs and then you'll have more success. And in some other areas where you are, when you break proximity, just get one GMB and make it a monster and then you can take a lot of area. So that's what I have for you today. This is the video on knowing and identifying whether your business has the potential to rank in up to a 35 mile radius or whatever radius it is that you're looking for to rank. My name is Jassy Placid. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. Hope you learned some things today. Hope I was able to be of service to you. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a like or share it. And please leave a comment down below. Just I'd like to know what you think about this term, breaking proximity, proximity lock. That would be really interesting to get into that. And I cannot wait to see you in the next video. And if you need any help, Email me, call me, text me, uh, and I'll be more than happy to be of service to you. Until next time, have a good one.